The action continues here at Ungovernable with this Intercontinental Championship contest. And making his way to the ring first, the architect, the Messiah, Seth Rollins. And Rollins, since making the jump to metal, hasn't had the string of luck he perhaps would have enjoyed. Although he did say he was going to challenge Sami Zayn. And Sami Zayn, to his credit, doesn't back down from a challenge. And therefore, we got this match tonight. Although, if you saw what happened on last week's Metal, you would know that perhaps there's some tension between the two men. And it's understandable. You've got a big time title match on pay-per-view. I wouldn't expect them to be best buddies. But even so, Seth Rollins saved Sami Zayn from a beatdown at the hands of Minoru Suzuki when Suzuki was going to use that Intercontinental title to hit Sami Zayn. And when Rollins was holding the title, there was a bit of a misunderstanding. He handed the title back to Zayn, but Zayn snatched it back. He wasn't happy with Rollins holding that title. And you know what? He wouldn't be happy with Rollins holding the title tonight either. The question is, can Zayn retain? Or are we going to have a new champion? Seth Rollins, his credentials are a very long list. He main evented WrestleMania as the world champion. And tonight, he faces Sami Zayn, who is in a record setting reign as Intercontinental Champion as this match begins. A couple of shots being traded and just feel out process here. They've got massive amounts of respect for each other to these two as they trade covers. And again, kicking out. But a big time lariat from Sami Zayn. Both of these men fan favourites. You have to say the fan opinion of these two is probably split 50-50 tonight. And Sami Zayn goes after him. Lands on his feet. Meanwhile, Riley's back in and a sling blade to Sami Zayn. And now Zayn... In trouble, look out for some... Oh, wait a minute, though! Seth Rollins went for the drop kick, the springboard, but he got drop kicked in himself. And now Sami Zayn on the top rope, springs to it, cross body, rolls through into a pin, but a kick out from Sami Zayn. And now Rollins with a running blockbuster to Sami Zayn, working over the neck, setting up for the curb stomp finisher. And now places Sami Zayn on top. And Zayn punches his way free. Sami wants to go for him. And now the blue thunder bomb. Blue thunder bomb. It could do it. No. It's a kick out. And that's usually the precursor to the Haluva kick. That's how he won the title. And this again drives him into the corner with the exploder. And Zayn wants to put it away early. You don't get paid by the hour here. And went for the Haluva kick. But Seth Rollins moved out of the way. And Sami Zayn falls to the outside. Off the ropes. Coming at him with a two-paced suicida through the second rope. Taking down Sami Zayn. And they're going to throw him back in. And Rollins, he's not a former world champion for nothing. That's why he's immediately going to the top rope, taking advantage, hooking the leg, but a kick out from Sami Zayn. Seth Rollins, don't forget, is a former Intercontinental Champion here in this company. A title which he held very proudly and defended against numerous legends, but Sami Zayn, not intimidated. He went for the ripcord, but instead, code red from Sami Zayn. And that stunned Rollins, who is now recuperating on the outside. I think he perhaps underestimated Zayn, as you shouldn't. Look at that! Tornado DDT through the second turnbuckle, spiking Seth Rollins right on his head. Now Rollins, look out for Sami Zayn! With a tope on it low over the top. Sami Zayn wiping out Seth Rollins and basking in the glory of this audience here tonight. 
Hope you're enjoying watching the pay-per-view at home. I know I am as I'm watching this action. Look at that again. Sami Zayn with a Tornado DDT. And this flying over the top. Crashing onto Seth Rollins. Meanwhile, Sami Zayn waiting for him. Oh, but there's Rollins to meet him there. Suplex and a Falcon Arrow. Such fluid motion. He is a joy to watch in the ring. But he is too tired to capitalize. Going for the buckle bomb now into a sunset flip and a kick out, but a kick literally to the face of Sami Zayn. And Zayn not loopy. Look out in place for the curb stomp that this is. And a tornado DDT from Zayn. And the Intercontinental Champion has the momentum back on his side. Rollins in the corner. Zayn looking for the Haluva kick. No. Into the buckle bomb. Wrist control and the ripcord knee. And now Rollins senses it could be the end. Oh no. Big time Western Lariat from Sami Zayn. Rollins can't connect with a curb stomp. And now driving him into the corner. Rollins knocks Luby from the clothesline. Haluva kick. No. Oh! Wait a minute. What happened there? Sami Zayn holding his groin. And look at that. Curb stomp. And we have a new champion. I am very confused as to how that one ended but nevertheless I guess we got a new Intercontinental Champion and it was quite abrupt I have to say I think we're going to have to look at the replay of this one again it was an incredible match up to that point including that curb stop missing and then this Tornado DDT he went for the Haluva kick but caught with a buckle bomb and then the ripcord that's the setup to the curb stomp However, Zayn came back at him with that Western Lariat. And then this. Let's take a close look. Oh, right there. Sami Zayn missed a Huluva kick because Seth Rollins blocked it with his elbow. And it just so happened to give Sami Zayn a low blow. But I guess the referee didn't see it as a low blow. Well, Rollins is smiling. He's smirking. But Sami Zayn, I think, is not very happy that that was a low blow. That was... I don't know, you have to admit, it could go either way. Was it intentional, was it not? I don't think so. But judging by the smile on Seth Rollins' face, it's almost as if he meant it. Well, Seth Rollins, regardless of all that, is the new Intercontinental Champion. No shortage of confidence from the women's champion Ronda Rousey who's now leaving the building it seems and uh oh my oh my god this this Becky Lynch Becky Lynch is back and Ronda Rousey looks like she's seen a ghost well we haven't seen Becky Lynch since she was found with a broken arm backstage a couple of weeks ago and now she is back and Ronda Rousey has continuously denied having anything to do with it well what a return and I'll tell you what this is going to be a very intense matchup just like the intense hatred that Becky Lynch has for Ronda Rousey Hangman Adam Page and his nemesis Cody Rhodes are gonna go to war in this dog collar match the first ever dog collar match in NLW history well Hangman Page the protege of Nature Boy Ric Flair tonight goes it alone against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes 
These two men used to be the best of friends. They were in the Four Horsemen together, along with Ric Flair and Arn Anderson. However, Ric Flair said to Cody, you are a loser after losing the Intercontinental Championship. And now Cody is going it alone. He is doing things the right way. Hangman Page, meanwhile, is still under the tutelage of Ric Flair. And Ric Flair has been doing everything in his power to get to Cody Rhodes. And he has already got the dog collar on. Ric Flair said he wouldn't interfere in this one. But Cody Rhodes and Hangman finally getting a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this dog collar match is underway. They are tied at the neck. The only way to win is pinfall or submission. And look at that. Hangman pulling the cord and the rope that keeps them together, pulling it into the ring post. This way they will not be able to escape each other as Hangman goes after Cody with a fall away slam, kips up, and the shooting star press, hooks the leg, and a kick up from Cody. And a vicious whip. It was a couple weeks ago on Metal, Cody and Ric Flair had that brutal no disqualification match, and it was Hangman Page who cost Cody Rhodes, but there's a disaster kick. And in fact, Brandy Rhodes, Cody's wife, had to throw in the towel for Cody, but there will be no towel throwing in this one. It is one fall to a finish as Cody Rhodes brings in the hardware, the table. I'm not going to go for a suplex, maybe. No. Oh, look at this now. Hangman Page kicking the leg out from under Cody Rhodes and now hanging him over the top rope. That's why they call him the Hangman and look out for the moonsault. The moonsault from Hangman as Cody Rhodes still suffering the effects of being thrown over the top and look out now power bomb through the table well adam page power bombing cody rose with such force to break the table as they continue to batter each other here first the moonsault from hangman and then the power bomb through the table on the outside And now the back suplex from Hangman and using that rope to choke out Cody Rhodes. But Cody gets his way free. And Hangman now in trouble. Oh, look out! Crossroads coming! But Hangman rolls out of it. And now he went for a... He went for a springboard manoeuvre, but remember, that rope around his neck, Hangman used it to pull him down. And now goes for, goes for the buckshot, but gets caught with a stunner. Gets caught with a cutter, I should say. But it's only a two count. And now Cody on the top. And this time the moonsault is successful. Cody Rhodes wiping out Hangman Page. And he's going to take off the weight belt. And he's going to whip Hangman like Hangman whipped him. Oh, look, wait a minute. What is this now? It's Ric Flair. And now going for the dead eye, but into a code red. And there's Ric Flair to stop it. Remember, no disqualifications, but Ric Flair going back on his word. He said he wouldn't interfere. And now Brandy. Brandy out here with a steel chair. And oh, for God's sake. Don't you put your hands on her, you SOB. Ric Flair with his hands on Brandy Rhodes. What is this? The natural Dustin Rhodes, Cody's brother, and he takes out Flair. Cody getting some backup. The Hangman now from behind, and Hangman wipes out Dustin like he did Arn Anderson two weeks ago, and now comes in with a box shot. But turn into the crossroads. And Cody Rhodes wins this dog collar match. Cody Rhodes, after months of being tormented by Ric Flair and Hangman Page, by being kicked out of the Four Horsemen, Cody Rhodes proves that going alone was the right choice, winning this dog collar match. We'll take a look at the replay here. Cody wanted to use that weight belt on Hangman, but Flair went back on his word and interfered anyway 
He saved Hangman and he put his hands on Brandy Rhodes, which was absolutely despicable. And then, surprising all of us, Dustin Rhodes evened the odds. And that allowed Cody to hit the crossroads. And Cody Rhodes is victorious. And now Ric Flair berating Hangman Page as we have a brotherly embrace in the ring. You love to see it. Well, Hangman Page doesn't like to see it. Dustin Rhodes has Cody's back. He is making strides here on Metal to do better. And my God, he's done it. He wins with his family by his side. Flair and Hangman retreat as Cody wins the Dog Collar War.